okay next one this was posted by vidya looks like a simple one on average uh, but was left unanswered in the forum so let's see how quickly do you arrive at the answer question is on your screens now here's the question the average age of a and b is 35 years so can you say a plus b equals to 70 yes if c replaces a the average age is 31 years see c replaces a meaning in place of a we should have c so then c and b you're able to follow original average is a and b a and b the average is 35 years so some will be 70 years if c replaces a so in place of a you have c c plus b then the average is 31 if average is 31 some would be 62 and if c replaces b if c replaces b so a will be as it is in the original equation c replaces b so c comes in place of b the average is 36 average is 36 meaning some would be 72 are you getting it average of a and b is 35 so a plus b 70 if you replace a with c average is 31 so meaning sum will be 62 and if you replace b with c in place of b if you have c and a as it is a plus c the average is 36 so a and c total will be 72 now if i look at all these three equations together add up what happens we have got two b's two a's and two c's so i'll have two times of a plus b plus c equals to the sum of these 70 70 140 plus 60 uh, 200 200 plus 4 204 meaning a plus b plus c is 102 the sum of a b c the sum of the ages of a b c is 102 next he says the average of d and e is half of the average age of a b c the average age of d and e see what is the average age of d and e d plus e by 2 is half of the average age of a b c Average of ABC is A plus B plus C by 3. Getting it? Average of D and E. Average of D and E is D plus E by 2 is half of half of the average of ABC. A plus B plus C by 3. Now solve for this what happens? This 2 and 2 gets cancelled. I can conclude that D plus E, D and E together is A plus B plus C by 3. So which is 102. We know A plus B plus C is 102. 102 by 3. How much is this? Uh, 34. So D and E is 34. Then the average of all the five people. What is the average of all the five people? A plus B plus C plus D plus E. You should not write this in the exam. I'm just explaining to you. Average will be A plus C plus, you know, sum of all the ages by five. Now A plus B plus C we know is 102. D plus E we know is 34. So 102 plus 34 divided by five. 102 and 34 is 136, right? 102 and 34 is 136. 136 by 5. How much is 136 by 5? 27.2. That's your answer. 136 by 5 is 27.2. So the average of all the five people is 27.2. I know what you guys have done. The statement which said average of D and E is half of average of ABC, you guys, are, you know, took it for granted that D and E should be, the sum of D and E should be half of the sum of ABC. I think that's how we'll get 30.6 because if I take D and E as half of 102, it becomes 51. Then 102 plus 51 is 153. 153 by 5 will be 30.6. It is not the way. Because, see, average, if the number of people were equal on both the sides, average of D and E is half of average of A and B. Then you can say sum of D and E is half of sum of A and B. But he is talking about average. And average depends on the number of people. You did not factor that point there. Average of D and E is half of average of A, B and C. Usually we say that if the average is half, you know, denominators can be cancelled. But the denominators are different here. Average of D and E will have 2 in the denominator. Average of A, B, C will have 3 in the denominator. You neglected that part. And by neglecting that, you found average of, I mean, sum of D and E is half of sum of A, B, C. Yes or no? I think that's the only way you get 30.6. Otherwise, you won't get 30.6. And which is a common mistake for in, in this particular question? So be careful, 27.2 should be the answer.